I've never believed there's such a thing as real hip hop. There is no sound that fully represents what this culture is truly all about. What's the biggest myth you've ever heard in rap music? The 90s were the golden era, right? All albums released from January 1st, 1990 till about December 31st, 1999 were all amazing pieces of work. And of course I'm being a dick, but the 90s was also a struggle for music relevance. It was a fight to be taken seriously as a genre that was here to stay. The year 2000s later became the victory lap, the fruits of the labor laid by the decade before. The 90s also had a considerable amount of something that I feel is lacking today. And that's critical listeners. Understand something. The Source magazine was once considered the hip hop bible. What's in the Source? Interviews, fashion, liquor ads, a ton of things, but the most anticipated aspect of the publication was the album review. Their five mic rating system that you might remember. And also unsigned hype. Eminem even mentioned it in his 2003 diss of then co-owner of The Source, bad, Ray man. Benzino. When the unsigned hype column and The Source was like, the only source of light. When the mics used to mean something, the four was like, you were the shit. Now it's like the least you get. Three and a half now just means you a piece of shit. So what does this tell you? Rappers used to take better to criticism. This was Eminem, one of the biggest, if not the biggest artist at the time, saying, we look forward to your criticism, Source Magazine. Sure, the Source.com is around now when it's just another hip-hop website that blends along with the others, but what that also meant before was, the public used to have something to say about music. They were more interested. They cared about the conversation of it. There wasn't this thing that happens today, this attachment to artists, which has birthed the emergence of many mediocre rappers that we now see today. Let me simplify it. People weren't smarter or more self-aware in the 90s. There was just a population of people that rejected bad, soulless music and impersonators. Designer wouldn't have happened 20 years ago. Future wasn't the first marquee artist to have his style jacked in the middle of his prime. Make way for them sharpshooters. Started off when I was 12 and my mama was... She had locked me in the cellar for scratching her. You're not listening to Jay-Z right now. No. This guy's name is Angelus, a rapper from Brooklyn that came out years ago. His blatant attempt to steal Jay's spotlight didn't go over so well. He got his 15 minutes of fame, but then fell right back into obscurity. The fed gangsters, an unprepared gangster, took me 30 days to build the brick. Well, maybe he didn't pop. And that's because we had zero tolerance for biters. Sounding like someone was an insult to the listener, and worse, it was an attack on the subject that was being replicated. What happens nowadays is a bit different. Designer comes on the scene. You know exactly who he sounds like, but rejecting him is almost like rejecting your own ambition. You wouldn't want someone to tell you that you weren't fit to do something just because you sounded like yet another person. It's almost as if you feel like you're condemning your own pursuits if you call a spade a spade. But this is the biggest mistake that we make. We've almost always vilified criticism with the word hate. But nowadays, opinions are not only mistaken for hate on another, but hate on yourself. And I hate to break this to you, but it's got nothing to do with you, me, or even designer. It's what happens when anything gets put out there on the marketplace for public consumption, whether it's an album, a movie, a plate of fucking food, a YouTube channel, just criticism, which was made for the consumer in order to assess risk. Don't buy this album. Don't go to this movie. Don't waste your money. And I get it. Opinions are like assholes, and even this asshole has an opinion, but at one point, probably when message boards were available to everyone, opinions on rap music became evil. It became an attack on emotions or whatever feeling that Kid Cudi song invoked out of you, which now in your mind is being doused into non-existence by an album review. Total miscommunication.
The 90s didn't have more talent than there is today. That talent of yesterday simply had to fine tune themselves because we weren't just going to listen to any old bullshit. All the old ass niggas talking about how they need to stay. This is Little Yachty speaking on old rap fans. Like all these old ass niggas need to stop hating on the young youth because we're doing old is fucking old. Old is when you hating. Old is when you hating. Yeah, you like. I feel like honestly. People need to just suck it up and understand that rap ain't the same no more. I don't have to spit a fucking cold 16 no more. Fuck that shit, bro. If I want to make some turnt shit, bro, if I want to say, yeah, the whole track, and it turned up people because the beat turned, then fuck it. I'm making a song yeah, called Yeah. Song. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to understand that shit. Like, bro, like, it's not the same, bro. Niggas is not doing spin moves on cardboard boxes no more. Like, bro, it's, who cares? Yachty is revealing a flaw about today's music, its lack of effort. Listen to what he's saying. It's not necessarily a creative motive behind this hopefully hypothetical yeah song. It's total apathy, a complete disinterest. Who gives a shit, right? And also a low-key threat to make a song consisting of three minutes of just an ad-lib. And though I don't believe there's such a thing as real hip-hop, I do acknowledge that as far as labor, as far as work, there's a difference between Kanye creating College Dropout and Little Uzi Vert making Perfect Love. I believe an audience isn't only there to praise you and to stroke your ego. They also operate as the last line of defense, a filter for quality control. There's no shortage of talent today, nothing more for artists to do. The 90s weren't a better era of music. We were better.